is X. Okay. What's up guys, this is Walid, and today's problem is the car ride. So for the first question, how fast is the blue car going two seconds after it starts? So we use this equation, we use V final equal V initial plus AT, acceleration times time. So the V final is gonna be 3.3 acceleration times the time, which is two seconds, and that's gonna equal to 6.6 .6 meter per second. And here the initial velocity is gonna be equal to zero because it started from zero. For the second question, um, how fast the blue car is going 14.6 seconds after it starts. So in the beginning it starts accelerating and then after 3.9 seconds um, it, it goes constant speed. So, so velocity final is going to equal to 3.3 times 3.9 seconds and that's going to be equal to 12.87 meter per second okay so it's the same speed after 3.9 because the acceleration is zero so the speed doesn't change after that for the third question how far does the blue car travel before its brakes are applied to slow down okay so for this one is a little bit complicated so what we're going to do is we're going to use this equation uh, velocity final squared equal velocity initial squared plus two acceleration x okay so the velocity final is what we got from this this one from question number two so 12.87 this is squared divided by two times the acceleration which is 3.3 and that will give us 25.0965 meter. And then we have to add it, the other one, when, it, when it's at constant speed, which is the, it went for 13.6 seconds, times the constant speed, which was, where is it? Is the constant speed all from question number two, which is 12.87, and that will be 175.032. So the total will add 25 plus 175, and that will equal to 200.12 estimation meter. What is the acceleration of the blue car once the brakes are applied? So for this one, we're going to be using V at final squared, V initial squared plus 2 acceleration X. Okay. And the X for this one is going to be the total, which is 218. 218 minus 200.12. That's going to be equal to 17.88. Okay, so what we're going to do is V final, it's going to be, uh, we're trying to find the acceleration. So A is going to be equal to the velocity, which is going to be 12.87 squared divided by 2 times 17.88. Okay, and that's going to give us negative 4.6. 319 okay the negative came from when the when we took the v initial to the other side because v final when it's the acceleration is going to end up at zero okay so when we take this one to the other side it's going to give it the negative sign which it should be right here so this is the acceleration this is meter per second squared what is the total time the blue car is moving so we have time one and time two, we need to find time three. So time three, that's what we're trying to find. So for this guy, we're gonna use this equation, V final equal V initial plus A T. 
Okay, so we have the v-final, we have the acceleration, we just need to find the time. So time is equal to the v divided by a, which is negative 12.87 divided by negative 4.6319. That's going to equal to 2.77 seconds. So now we will add the three times that we have, so total time. Is equal to 2.77 plus the other time which was 3.9 and 13.6 3.9 plus 13.6 so that will equal to 20.27 alright so for question number three we what is the acceleration of the yellow car so what we know about the yellow car is that it starts from zero and it kept accelerating the whole time so let's use v final equal v initial plus a t v final squared equal v initial squared plus two a x So for this one, the v initial is starting from zero, and then we can substitute the v final in this equation to find the acceleration. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to end up with v final, which is at, and then at squared, both of them, is going to be equal to, and then the v initial is, is zero to two ax. Then the acceleration is equal to. Uh, 2x divided by t squared and this is 2 times 218 divided by 20.27 squared and that will equal to 1.0611 meter per second square alright guys hope this helped makes sense I'll see you in the next video